Next one was a awesome sale. Uh, this is a promotional, not for sale. This is a first press promo. So it's got the white label. Hey, Bluegrass, can we go thrift shopping? Hello, YouTube world. My name is Anthony Long. Welcome back to the Bluegrass Picker Channel. You came back. <laughs> Why? Why? I'm sure glad you did. What's on eBay? Yesterday. Had uh, some normal sales. This is uh, the brown hat that I sell constantly for eight bucks. Uh, when someone types in brown hat on eBay, they must send them all to me. I've got one left. I think I've sold like ten. I paid pennies for them. Next one was a interstate battery hat. Um, interstate battery racing. Um, but it went for, I believe, $14.95. Uh, next one is Mortal Kombat. Versus the DC Universe, Xbox 360. I can't remember, five, seven bucks. Uh, next one was a Saul Garza. He is a catcher for the Royals. It's his autograph, first Bowman, number to 250. It sold for seven bucks. Um, he's hit two home runs in the minors. It's going to be a while before he even gets to the majors. Next one is this really cool uh, Brady Singer. I need to take it out. This is a Brady Singer rookie autograph. And this is, <clears throat> like, it's a gold ink that they use. Um, it's a little bit different. Um, it's on like a fabric of some sort. This is Panini Absolute. And the thing that's really neat about it is, I've got it covered. It's numbered 10 out of 10. Kind of see it there. Um, so it makes it kind of more rare because number to 10 is rare let alone and 10 out of 10 is even worth more um, I put it up for $49 someone sent me an offer of 20 20 bucks right away he worked himself up to like 32 bucks and I sold it um, I've got six or seven Brady Singer autographs so I don't need another one next thing it sold was a Mariano Rivera um, postcard which is a really cool postcard it's, um, they won the World Series in 1998. I believe it was the first one they won. No, no I can't remember. I'm not going to, I should say that. But Mariano Rivera, that is such a cool scene. What a cool picture. So I can't, I'm not surprised it sold, but I think it only sold for like seven bucks. But it's good for a postcard. The next things that sold were all vinyl. Um. Eric Clapton, you look wonderful tonight. It sold for like nine bucks. This is actually sealed, and you can see the corner up there was the, the the seal was a little bit ripped. But when you got into the inside of it, it was a perfect uh, forty-five. I probably could have put it as extra uh, EX or near mint, but I always use VJ VG plus as like a plus is like I just figure I'm gonna go under whatever the actual grading really is, and then they'll be pleasantly surprised with a good album. Um, if I go the other way, people are just going to get mad and say, oh, I, I thought this was this, and since you grade it different than some, however people grade it, I just see that being problems. Um, next thing that sold was this Sam Cooke. Um, for sentimental reasons, all his stuff's really good, but what's cool about this one is... And get it out red vinyl <clears throat> red vinyl is cool of course this means it was a reissue too so it's um, it's not always it's not always the most valuable but they sell fast because people like the color um, this one is the crystals um, red Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer I got this off a lot from T um, I think this actually puts me at um, getting all my money back for that lot. And I've only sold three or four 45s, and I believe there was 55 of them. Uh, this one's Toto Rosanna, and I believe it went for $9.81. The next one was Otis Redding, really cool one. Um, 
sitting on the dock of the bay. We've all heard that song if you've if you liked uh, Top Gun at all. Um, really great song. I sold it for fourteen eighty one, and this was a lot I bought off of eBay. Um, you can buy forty fives off eBay, and um, you know you take it more of a chance because then someone else is explaining what their grading system is. And uh, I'd rather buy them off the people I know, but I can't always get those, so every once in a while I will. Um, but I bought 97 records for $43, and this one sold for $14. So I've got 96 left, and I only, only need $30 more to clear um, my price margins on that. Um, so there's lots of places to source source 45s so it's not just auctions for on YouTube next one was a awesome sale um, this is Bobby Hutton he was a I guess soul singer R&B uh, this is a promotional not for sale um, has a little writing on the cover I disclosed that this is a first press promo so it's got the white label and um, it's from 1973. I had to listen to it. It's really good. Uh, no wonder people want this because it's a good album. And, um, you know, the comps go from 70 to $115. Kind of just depends on the condition. But the condition, this was from Who's Tom Cruise. But the condition is great. I mean, this is probably... I mean, there might be a couple small, like, little scratches. It's just, and that's just because it rubbed up against something. It doesn't affect the sound at all. Um, but anyway, this was a GSP sale, too. So this went to the UK, and uh, kind of worries me, you know, because most of the time I sell stuff GSP, it's like 15 bucks, so... If something happens, I was just I'll just tell them, and which has never happened, but I was I would I just always think like I'll just tell them like fifteen bucks you can just keep it if something's wrong because it'll cost forty bucks to get it sent back to me. The same with this, so hopefully they're happy with what they get because I don't want them to be mad because I don't want to have to just give them back ninety bucks. So this sold for ninety bucks, um, and plus shipping on top. It's gonna go to Kentucky and go out GSP. Um, but uh, I'm going to start putting up more 33s and um, make sure you press that thumbs down button for you out here. Grind down, friends. Soldier's Joy. Pickers. <laughs> Stay tuned.